today I'm going to be doing every single trick in Gorilla Tag. So basically this is just a whole tutorial all together on how to become a professional Gorilla Tag player. So, you know, let's get... Okay, so I'm um, start with, we're going to be starting with... Let's see, jumping. Jumping's always a like really hard mechanic for new players. I don't know quite why, but you know. So basically the reason why it's hard for a lot of people is because there are I s I'd say there's like two types of jumps. Like there's uh forwards jumping, so you're actually trying to jump towards something, and then there's jumping straight up to try get up something and that's what all the new players find hard because they do things like this um they like go around and then instead of say they want to jump to uh actually so they want to do that they'll do this instead go like this and they'll just push down and that's the problem so yeah but uh, so the way to do that is it's a bit like just walking i guess um f if you want to jump up try push down just like practice doing that you can skip ahead in the video if you're already past this sort of level but you know so you just push down for a straight jump and then put your hand in front of you if you want a forward jump and just like do that sort of motion get used to that and then just um, put yourself slightly in the air while doing it, and boom, you've got it. Alright, so next, we should probably go into the running technique. So, let's go into follow player to start off with. So, there's many different ways of running, and the way most people do it is, like, either a funny run or literally just running normally. What a lot of people do is they use both hands, you don't want to be doing that. Let me just go into first person. What you want to be doing is place one hand forwards and down on the floor, then pull that back and then put the other hand on the floor and pull that back. And then just take them off of the floor when they've been pulled back. And then you'll get faster and faster at that. And then when you're able to do that, you'll just be able to... Um, make your own sort of running. This is how I run. But yeah, so that's how I do that. Um, now I guess after you've got the running, we can practice doing this. So done. I'll put you back actually because I'm gonna teach you. I'll put you here. There you go. All right. So for this. Because you're wanting to pinch climb, you're sort of going to want to um, hold it like this. So you keep your arms kind of near the edge of it. And then this is how I do it. Uh, you push down like that, but you very slightly pull yourself in, not push in, but slightly. Sorry if I lag sometimes, it's because I'm recording. <laughs> Yeah, so make sure you keep yourself nice and close to it, and you should just be able to scale it. And then, sorry, to other people it should look like this. A lot of new players do like small, like small versions of stupid tracking and lag. Some people do it like that, but I don't think that works. That just makes it harder because this is what it does for me. Wait, let me just... This is what it does for me. It still goes fast, but I just lose track and hit it on both sides. So, you know, it's easier to do that for me. Um, let's get into actually bouncing on double walls. So, over here, sort of a jump here, and get your hand, like, sideways to it, like, that position to it. Say you were the wall, with the camera's the wall, it would be like that. And then you just do that on the wall, and then you push. This is what a lot of people do, they push down. No, you want to, just jumping, um, 
practice jumping at the wall like that and then just pushing like down and very slightly out push out and down then when you've got that and you're not really moving forwards then you can just go side to side on it yeah so it should look like this so up against the wall like that hit 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 and eventually you won't even have to look i don't do that anymore because when you go and you do that my things stop lagging so it's really laggy like, it isn't even laggy it's just kind of like uh it goes g g it just like it's really weird but yeah How did that lag my game? Trying to fire this lagged my game. Yeah, but, um... So... But, wait, let me think, sorry. Um... I'll be right back. Alright, um, sorry. Uh, so... Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. So... You've kind of mastered the double walls and stuff, and now you're just like asking, well, what do I do now? Because, well, you think you've mastered everything, but no, you haven't. There's so much more there is to this game. Anyway, um, we're gonna go on to... Let's see. What do you think? What should we learn? Hmm, let's see. Anyway, uh, let's... I'll show you a tiny bit of branching because you know maybe you'll be good at that. So let's just go. So I usually like start over here. I have a route that starts over here. So definitely a tip for branching: make roots in it, and also make roots. So if you fail, um, like if you fall or do something wrong, then you've always got a backup. So what is a good idea, because, say I like, overshot that and landed here, and you're being chased by a good play, you need to know somewhere you can go. So yeah, I can show you a route, which is really useful in my opinion, it was just one quick route I made, but basically, all you want to do for branching, is just make sure you've got pretty good precision and coordination and also make sure you have masked jumping because for some of them you've got to jump sort of half forwards half up some you've just got to jump practically up and others you've literally just got to pull forwards so also another thing uh, wall bouncing can be used because you could do be doing this bouncing off of branches and trees and stuff so this is a cool little route i made uh you can practice i'll show you more ways you can practice pushing in a second but this is a route you can use so you jump here jump here jump here then you come here and jump here try not hit yourself there a lot of people do that then you basically will bounce there onto here then you jump down here without hitting your head like i just did I barely ever hit my head on there, but you know, of course I have to when I'm making a video. Then you jump here, and then not hit your head. Why am I hitting my head all the time now? And then come around here. It's probably because I'm doing it slowly. This is probably one of the hardest parts. I don't always get this sometimes. I just go down there, but it's like this. So you kind of all run around the side of that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to show you a good way that you can learn branching now. Because how can you do a route if you don't actually, well, if you aren't able to branch? This ice actually helps because it gives you a challenge. Like, the way I used to learn it was, wasn't was the best because you could just come down here and get straight back up, like, walking. But now it's actually giving you a challenge to stay up, otherwise you'll slide off. And so, basically, the way that I first started learning it was someone told me do this. Come over to this branch come about here jump to here jump to here jump to here and when you've got that just keep practicing or you can pinch climb there when you've got that and you've got like the bouncing technique to get up there and stuff 
then you can try another route he told me, and he said do this. Yeah, so basically, you don't need to hit your hand there, that's just what I automatically do. So you jump here, here, and then you jump up here. And this is more of a scaling route, but um, it works. And trust me, when he taught me that, I became really good at branching. Um, another good way you can do it is go up to Stump, go to the entrance of Stump, and you can either go up there, do stuff up there, but the main way I do it is cross here, down here, up here, along here, down here, and just go this way. Though that does include a, like, bounce off of the wall, so, you know, make sure you're good at wall bouncing. And you come up here, 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 and then you get up to stump. It is kind of a long route to stump, I know, but it's a lot trickier if you're being chased the whole time. Alright, so now you would have got sort of good at branching. If you haven't yet, just keep practicing, find different ways like that. I'm going to teach you scaling, because that's like... Actually, I'll teach you wall running first because you sort of need to know how to go up walls like that, or at least go along walls like this. So, I'll take you to the best spot to learn it, which is over here. Literally, everyone thinks it's there, don't go there. In my opinion, this is the best spot to learn it. I learned it within 10 minutes when I was new. I was about three days of playing the game and I could already wall run because someone taught me it here. Yeah. But, anyway. So, we're going to... You want to find... There's a very slight change in the wall here. It goes flat, but then it goes along again. You guys still here? I think you're still in first person, yeah. I'll just make sure. Uh, so, there should be like right here a little tiny curve. Want to start behind the curve, like right here, but not so far. You're behind here. There's a curve right here, as you can see. Um, so, but then, practice jump at the wall and push down. The more push you get, the better, because that's sort of the movement you want. Some people prefer using their the back of their hand, but I prefer that with scaling. And I mean vertical, but side of their hands they're a lot easier in my opinion and so uh, you go know, sorry it's lagging again side of your hand and practice pushing down and then falling if you can if you think you're ready try to two two is sort of the max until you actually can start running a bunch because it is kind of hard to do but if you can't do two, then it's fine, because you don't need to, it's not vital. But then you're going to want to try jumping at the ball. Instead of just pushing down, you want to push sort of forwards. I like to point my hand down sort of like that. So it gives me a bit more point forwards. And then just sort of practice doing that. If you find that a bit too hard, try this. Start here instead, and just push off to here. Or at least try. Make sure you practice your left arm. I practiced it for a bit, but not enough, so I don't, I'm quite bad at my left arm. I'm alright, but I'm not the best. So as you can tell, we're getting into some harder areas of the game now. So this is getting into intermediate sort of level gameplay, instead of being new or um, normal. So... Um, now we're going to start getting onto this wall with wall running. So when you've learnt your wall running over there, try it over here. It's still quite easy here, it's just a tiny bit harder in my opinion. And same with your left arm. Your marker, in my opinion, should be... Try get to this branch right here. This branch right here. If you can at least make it to that height of the branch and then jump back and do your left arm and make it over here or somewhere near there, then um, you have passed that. And then we can move on to a, a bit of a harder thing, Lucia running. 
Now, a lot of people, they either do it too much in to the point where it's just bear climbing, or they do it too much out to the point where it's literally just impossible. <laughs> I mean, it's not impossible, but hard. So, you're going to want to be side onto the wall, like you're wall running, but point a tiny bit into the wall like that. Tilt your head to the side, like that. And then uh, do your wall running. Do that, like, with looking very slightly into the wall. So look slightly into the wall and tilt your head sideways. And do a wall run as um, high as you can. And then do the same with your left. Do a wall run as best as you can. And then you're going to want to add try do this this might be a bit too hard it takes quite a bit of practice if you've just learned all running but try do this i've never really done it so i'm terrible at it but i can still lose your run it, you don't need to do it but it just sometimes can make it a bit easier yeah just try like wall run with the opposite hand oh that's pretty good not gonna lie yeah but when you get that pretty good and you literally just want to add those together, so you wall run, wall run. So just do that slowly at first, so wall run, wall run, wall run, wall run, wall run, wall run. And just keep doing that, and if you make it to around the top of that tree right there, then that's good. So now you're going to want to be going on this, and you're going to want to do that, but try increase the speed so it's like, a, like a that. And that's the easier way of doing it. That isn't the Lucio way of doing it. Lucio does it like that. Which is a lot harder. So, yeah. I can slightly do that well. Probably not as good as Lucio can, though. Because, well, he made it up. Yeah, so... Practice that. When you get it, you should be something like that. And as long as you can get over that top of that tree, then you're pretty good. And you'll do well. And then you could try to get it higher until you basically make it here. Don't worry about Lucia running the whole time when you're running from lava monkeys on walls. Lucia running is only like a version of wall running. As long as you've got a fast technique for wall running, like a vertical sort of technique for wall running, then you can switch between it. I mean, you can switch between wall running and vert um, Lucia running any time, but it isn't as fast as normal wall running. Unless you really try, honestly. Uh, so, that's Lucia running. And before we get into stuff like vertical, I'm going to like teach you scaling, because that's a bit like... Um, Lucio. So, best place to learn it, in my opinion, is probably just here. It isn't too hard, actually. On the big tree. I know that seems like really hard, but it's got enough space. So, you're going to want to practice doing the bear climb. Like, come over to the board and practice just going face on like your Lucio running, but do it in front of you instead. And see how high you can get. And it doesn't really matter how high you can get, but then you want to sort of do it on here. Now, this probably won't need too much context to it, because by the time you're even able to scale, then you should already be able to do it without much help, because it's literally just loose you're running. Um, just instead, you're doing it on a tree. Uh, now... There are a few hard parts about this, and that's kind of, say you were scaling up here, but then you get stuck under a branch and you can't do anything. There are things you can do. You've got to do, I can't, I'm not even really sure if I can do it, but you've got to kind of go like, round. Some people do it, like me, I do it with pinch climbing. I go around with pinch climbing. Also, I forgot to mention, for pinch climbing, practice it on trees as well. Like, instead of, but for trees, instead of keeping your hands there, try to keep them up there. Pinch climb up. But, if you're already this good, or you're a noob and you've got this far into the tutorial, and you can do this stuff now, good job, because now we're going into the pro stuff. 
Now, there's not much to the pro stuff. I mean, it's, well, vertical, really. Vertical is quite a pro move, in my opinion, because, like, it's all that staying close to the wall and doing it fast enough. A good practice for it is, if we go over to the bench at Gazebo, this is the sort of motion you want. So sit here and put your hand around this in, like, circles. And try to do it quite fast as many times as you can without pushing yourself off. When you've got that sort of motion, I'm not too good at vertical. I mean, I'm alright. But then... You should be able to do like a D motion on the ball. You can start off slow and get faster the more you do it. Yeah, so another good way to practice it is do it like this. Watch. So find a wall where you can wall climb. I forgot to talk about wall climbing, sorry. So wall climbing, jump at the wall sideways like you're about to wall run. And then jump the other side like you're going to wall run with your left hand. And do that. When you get better, you won't have to turn, and then you can just do it. If you know what I mean. Anyway, so a uh, good way to practice it is do wall climbing, then bounce over the side. Like do three hits and slowly get more hits, and get faster and faster. You can use the back or side of your hands. As I said before, I like using the back of my hands for vertical and yeah that's a good practice for vertical and so then you're going to want to, after you practice that you want to come over here try vertical do a forwards vertical like a sort of wall run vertical and just try make it up to this branch when you've done that you can slowly make it like more of a vertical by going straight up like this and you can push back if there's enough like space to or there's something that lets you but yeah again there are probably better coaches than me out there because I'm not like the best at the game I classify myself as good but not the best so one more thing I want to talk about and that is backwards Lucia running this is a very hard trick to pull off, most of the time, because you've got a master this year running, and going backwards on walls. So, I uh, practiced it here to start off with, like up here. You're literally just going to want to send it, push here, then push back, and literally just do a Lucio run, but push backwards instead of forwards. Yeah, and this should allow you to get a nice little speed if you want to know where the lava monkey is. Sorry, I'm lagging. Yeah, if you want to know where the lava monkey is, because you think he's right behind you, but you also want to keep going, it's an amazing tactic to use. I suck at it on my left hand. Yeah, I can't even do it on my left hand. Yeah, but... This is a nice trick I like to use, is if you're going away, and you think, like, no, and then if you're going that way, Love Monkey appears, you can just do this. And just see where they are and run. Not many people can do this trick, by the way. I mean, a lot can, but you don't find everyone who can. You don't usually find people who can do it. At least I can't. You might be able to. I really can't. No matter what lobby I go into. I can't find anyone else who can do it. But yeah. I hope you get good at Gorilla Tag because, well, you know, everyone should. It isn't like overly hard when you've actually got the game. And then you've just got to practice, I guess. Because we all have to. If you don't practice, you lose your skill. One more tip. And that is... Always... Always... Try not to go on the floor. Unless you're really good at, like, juking people. 
at all going fast and you've got like long arms, don't go on the floor, trust me. I do it sometimes if I mess up and then I've just got to hope that fate is on my side. Yeah. And there's one... Uh, I mean, I just said there's one more thing, but I'll show you one more. This is quite another hard trick. Basically. It's slippery balls. Um, again, not everyone can do this. But I like to practice here. And you sort of just go... Wait, hold on. I didn't get it. Try practice getting up here and then hitting off and try get to this. And then you've got a long jump. Got you to twist your head sideways for that. So, you get it. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you get good at Gorilla Tag. And if you do, please consider subscribing because this has taken me kind of a while to make. And yeah. I'll see you guys in another video because... Well, this is going to be really fun. Okay, I hope you can outskill every lava monkey. Okay. Goodbye.